Hello everyone, how are you? I am your teacher Jem Raimon and today we are going to check your assessment and additional activities of your module 7. Now here is your assessment class. So this is 1 up to 5. So let's answer number 1. A certain type of bag comes in a white or black and in a small or large size. How many combinations are possible? So itong method na to pwede mong gamitin to solve this problem. So we have white. And we have black. So, gagamitin natin yung tree diagram class. Yung white na bag niya, pwedeng ang size niya ay small at saka large. Yung black bag naman niya, pwedeng small at saka large. ba? So, ngayon, to find out the final combination. So, yung white niya na bag, pwede in small size. Diba? Yung large size niya na bag, pwede ang color white. Okay? Yung black naman niya na bag, pwede in small size. And then we have a black or large na bag. Or black, large bag. So, ito na yung combinations na pwede pagpilian sa bag na may different sizes. So, we have Four. So, the correct answer for number one is letter C. Number two, Jetro picks a number from one to four and chooses the color red, green, or yellow. What is the total number of outcomes? A6, B9, C12, D24. Again, you can use any method to solve this problem, but I'll be showing you a listing method na naman para masolve yung item number two. So, pwede niyang pagpilian yung 1 at saka red naman ang combination niya. Okay? Kasi may apat tayo na number dito class. At saka per number, pwede siyang ipare sa red, green, or yellow na color. Ang 2, pwede ipare sa red. Ang 3, pwede ipare sa red. At saka yung 4, pwede ipare sa red. And also, yung 1 naman, pwede ipare sa green. 2, green, and then 3, green. And then 4, ipare sa green. Or, pwede rin naman yung yellow. So, 1, yellow sa 2, yellow and 3, and yellow and 4. The final answer for number 2 is 12, and that is letter C. Number 3, a certain brand of shoes comes in 5 sizes and 6 colors. Find the number of possible outcomes. A9, B18, C24, or D30. Again, as I said, you can use any method. But then, for this presentation, I'll be using table or grid no, para ma-solve yung item number 3. So, ito yung table natin, class. So, we have 5 sizes in 6 colors. Dito natin ilagay yung color ng sapatos. We have color 1, color 2, color 3, color 4, color 5, color 6. Pwede mo naman gan ganyan yung pag-label class kasi hindi mo naman alam kung ano yung mga colors na ibibigay pero pwede kang maglagay din ng specific na color kung gusto mo. Dito naman yung size class. We have size 1, size 2, size 3, size 4, size 5. So ganyan ang pag-label pwede din naman. That's okay. So dito, so yung color 1, ipaparis natin siya sa size 1. And then we have color 1 here. Iparis natin siya sa size 2. Ito din, color 1, size 3, color 1, size 4, and then color 1, size 5. Ito yung 5, ito yung 1. ba? Ito naman, color 2, iparis natin sa size 1. And then color 2, size 2. Color size 3. And then color 2, size 4. Color 2, Size 5. Ito kasi column na to class, puro 2 yan eh, no? Color 2. Dito lang nagkakaiba sa rows. Okay? Pero different sizes pa din. And then, color 3 na naman tayo. Iparis natin sa size 1. Yan yung size 1. Color 3, size 2. Color 3, size 3. And then, color 4, size 4. And then, color 3, size 5. Ito naman yung column 4. Color 4. Yan. Okay, size 1, color 4, size 2. Color 4, size 3. And then, color 4, size 4, color 4, 
size 5. Dito naman tayo sa color 5 class. Color 5, size 1. Color 5, size 2. Color 5, size 3. Color 5, size 4. And color 5, size 5. Itong column na to. Color 6, size 1. Color 6, size 2. Color 6, size 3. Color 6, size 4. And color 6, size 5. So you notice, ilan lahat? Yes, the correct answer is 30. 30 combinations ang pwede nating makuha. So the correct answer for number 3 is letter D. Okay, number 4, Zina has a choice of two colors of pants and three colors of shirts. How many different outfits can she wear? So ito yung pwede nating ilagay na color class, red na pants. Pwede ni siyang ipare sa three colors din na shirts. We have example here, green. Yellow at saka violet. So, hindi naman siya nakalagay sa problem natin yung mga specific color. Pero, ikaw, pwede kang maglagay para may reference ka. Sa red lang na pants class, ito yung pwede niyang makombine. Diba? Next, let's have the blue pants. And then, same color, no? We have green, yellow, and violet. So, pwede siyang i-combine na ganyan. So, as you observe, meron tayong anim na combinations na pwedeng resulta. Okay? So, the correct answer for number 4 is letter B. Number 5. Which shows the sample space for flipping two coins? A. Head, tail. B. Head, head, tail, and tail. C. Head, tail, and head, and head. Letter D. Head, 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 tail, tail, head, and tail, and tail. So, ito yung pwede nating uh, gamitin na diagram class para makuha yung tamang sagot. So, yung first natin na coin, pwede siyang maka, uh, makaland sa head at saka yung tail. At saka yung second coin natin, pwede ring head at saka tail. So, pwedeng head and head, pwedeng head and tail, pwedeng tail and head, and pwede ring tail and tail. May apat tayong possible outcomes or sample space in flipping two coins. So, the answer for number 5 is letter D. H, H, or head and head, head, tail, tail, head, and tail, and tail. Letter B. Read and answer the problem below. A convenience store sells ice cream in a cup or in a cone in either vanilla or chocolate flavor. Each flavor has three choices of toppings, namely nuts, strawberries, and cherries. How many combinations of ice cream would there be? Solve using listing or diagram. Okay, gagamitin natin yung diagram class. Unahin na muna natin class yung cup. Okay, kasi dalawa kasing uri ng uh, ice cream meron tayo in a cup and in a cone. So this time, let's have first the cup. So, yung cup natin class, pwede siyang pagpilian ang vanilla at saka chocolate flavor, ba Per flavor, pwedeng may topping siya na nuts at saka strawberry and then cherries. Same din sa chocolate natin class. Pwede siyang lagyan ng toppings na nuts, strawberries, and cherries. Okay? Ang una nating possible na combination would be, may cup siya. Ang nakalagay sa cup, vanilla, and then ang toppings niya, nuts. So, cup, vanilla, nuts is the first combination. Next, pwede ring cup, vanilla, and then strawberry. Yan. Or pwede ring cup, vanilla pa din yung toppings natin, cherries naman. Yan. Or pwede yung cup ang ginamit, tapos chocolate yung laman, and then yung toppings niya ay nuts. Yan. Cup, chocolate, and nuts. Pwede yung cup, Nilagyan ng chocolate pero yung toppings niya aman ay strawberries. And then we have cup, chocolate, and cherries. Yan. So, you notice, gamit pa lang yung cup, meron na tayong anim na possible outcome. Next naman, yung lalagyan naman ay cone. So, ang cone natin, pwede siyang lagyan ng vanilla at saka chocolate na flavor. And same kanina, yung vanilla, pwedeng lagyan ng toppings na nuts, strawberries, and cherries. Same also sa chocolate, we have nuts, strawberries, and cherries. So ngayon naman, we'll have the final output. So we have vanilla in a cone with nuts. Ito, cone, 
vanilla and then nuts. Second naman, pwede lagyan ang ko ng vanilla pero yung toppings naman ay strawberry. Pwede rin yung toppings ay cherry. Okay? And then yung ko natin, lagyan natin ng chocolate flavor, ang toppings ay nuts. Pwede naman yung toppings ay strawberry or cherries. So, sa cone pa lang nalalagyan, mayroon na tayong combination na anim din. So, all in all, how many combinations do we have? Mula kanina sa, included na yung kanina sa cup na lalagyan. Yes, very good. We have 12 possible choices or combinations of ice cream. Okay, so that's the answer for this part of your module. Next, let's proceed to the additional activities part. So let's solve this problem. Joy has a black and green pants with white, yellow, blue, and red shirts in her cabinet. How many different choices of pants and shirts can she wear? Write the possible outcomes in either listing, tree diagram, and tabular form. So pipili tayo ng method natin na gagamitin. Okay, ang una natin gagamitin class ay ang listing method. So, una natin yung gagamitin ang black na pants at saka iparis natin sa white shirt. Yan. Pwede ring black pants, yellow shirt. Okay? Black pants, blue shirt. Pwede ring yung black pants, red shirt. Green pants, white shirt. Green pants, yellow shirt. Green pants, blue shirt. Green pants, red shirt. So, all in all, how many? Yes, we have 8 possible outcomes lahat. Yan yung answer natin for this problem using listing method. Let's have another method. Okay, using tree diagram naman tayo. Ito yung black pants natin. Pwede siyang ipare sa white shirt, yellow shirt, blue shirt, at saka red shirt. At saka, meron din siyang green pants na pwedeng ipare sa white shirt, yellow shirt, Blue shirt at saka red shirt. So, ipaparis na natin sila class. I-combine na lang natin. We have black pants and then white shirt. We have black pants, yellow shirt. We have black pants, blue shirt. And then we have black pants, red shirt. Meron din siyang green pants na ipari sa white shirt. Green pants na ipaparis sa yellow shirt. We have green pants, blue shirt. And then we have green pants na... Paris ang red shirt. So you notice, we still get 8 possible outcomes using our tree diagram. Okay, this time, let's use a tabular or the use of table. So ito yung table natin class. Pwede natin siyang lagyan ng shirts dito sa ibabaw. We have white shirt, yellow shirt, blue shirt, and red shirt. Sa so, ilalim naman, we have pants, we have black pants, and green pants. So, ipaparis natin yung column at saka row class. Okay? Yung nasa ibabaw, iparis natin sa gilid. Okay? So, itong part na to, pwede siyang iparis yung white shirt and black pants. Then, we have white shirt, green pants. We have yellow shirt and then black pants. Yellow shirt naman ay green pants ang ipaparis. And then, we have blue shirt and then we have black pants. And then we have blue shirt naman, green pants, we have red shirt, and then black pants, red shirt, and we have green shirt. So you notice, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 all in all possible outcomes. So we still get the same answer by using a tabular form. That ends your module 7 in Mathematics 6 quarter 4. If you want to watch the part 1 of your module 8, you can click the link above. Thank you so much for watching. Keep safe everyone!